Brace yourself for a sobering reality. According to the latest statistics, an alarming one in four Canadian seniors is struggling to make ends meet. That's right, a staggering 25% of our elderly population is living in poverty, often forced to make impossible choices between essentials like food, shelter, and vital health care services. Imagine being 72 years old, having dedicated your entire working life to contributing to the growth and prosperity of our nation, only to find yourself in the twilight years grappling with financial uncertainty. Picture the heartbreak of having to choose between purchasing the medication that keeps your heart condition under control or putting food on the table for yourself and your ailing spouse. Or envision the anxiety that comes with receiving the monthly utility bill, knowing that a substantial portion of your meager fixed income will be allocated to keeping the lights on and the home warm, leaving little room for other necessities. These are the harsh realities that countless seniors across our country face on a daily basis, a notion that should shake us to our core and compel us to take immediate action. But fear not, my friends, for a beacon of hope is on the horizon, a glimmer of light that promises to alleviate, at least in part, the financial burdens weighing heavily on the shoulders of our beloved seniors, a development so profound, so consequential, that it has the potential to reshape the landscape of retirement security for generations to come. Brace yourselves, for the news I'm about to share is nothing short of monumental. In a groundbreaking move, the Government of Canada, under the leadership of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Minister of Seniors Seamus O'Regan, has announced a significant increase in financial support for struggling seniors through the Old Age Security OAS, program. Starting potentially before the end of March 2024, every eligible recipient of the OAS pension will receive an additional one-time payment of $2,134. This substantial sum, a testament to the government's commitment to ensuring the well-being of our elders, will be directly deposited into the bank accounts of seniors across the nation, providing an immediate and tangible boost to their financial security. But that's not all my friends. In addition to this momentous one-time payment, the government has also unveiled plans to increase the monthly OAS benefit, further bolstering the financial stability of our seniors on an ongoing basis. While the precise details of this monthly increase are still being finalized, one thing is certain. Our leaders are leaving no stone unturned in their efforts to uplift and support those who have given so much to build the nation we call home today. Now, I understand that many of you may have questions swirling in your minds, wondering about the eligibility criteria and the specific timeline for receiving these benefits. Fear not, for I shall address these concerns in due course. But first, permit me to delve deeper into the profound impact this decision could have on the lives of millions of Canadian seniors. The significance of this increase in OAS payments cannot be overstated. For countless seniors who have been grappling with financial insecurity, this influx of funds could be the lifeline they so desperately need, alleviating the burden of having to choose between essential expenses. Imagine the serene relief washing over you as you stand in the pharmacy, clutching your prescription without a hint of worry. Gone are the days of agonizing decisions between vital medications and putting food on the table. With the newfound security provided by increased OAS payments, you can breathe easy, knowing that your health is no longer a luxury to be traded for survival. And it's not just about the tangible benefits of financial stability. It's about reclaiming something far more precious, your sense of dignity and self-worth. For too long, financial strain has chipped away at the pride of our seniors, forcing them into difficult compromises and eroding their belief in their own value. But now, with the assurance of sufficient support, they can stand tall once more, knowing that their contributions to society are not only acknowledged but celebrated. Moreover, consider the profound impact on the emotional and psychological well-being of our seniors. No longer shackled by the chains of financial stress, they can finally experience the peace of mind they've longed for. Gone are the sleepless nights filled with worry and anxiety. Instead, they can bask in the simple joys of retirement, free from the weight of constant fiscal burdens. Indeed, the ripple effects of this decision 
extend far beyond the realm of finances, touching every aspect of our seniors' lives. It's a restoration of hope, a renewal of spirit, and a reaffirmation of the inherent dignity and worth of every individual, regardless of age or circumstance. And as we witness this transformation unfold, we are reminded once again of the profound impact that compassion, empathy, and solidarity can have on shaping a brighter future for all. The Canadian government's unwavering commitment to supporting our seniors is truly commendable and deserves the highest praise. By prioritizing this issue and taking decisive action, our leaders have demonstrated an acute understanding of the unique challenges faced by our elderly population, as well as a profound respect for their invaluable contributions to the fabric of our nation. This increase in OAS payments is not merely a financial decision. It is a symbolic embrace, a tangible acknowledgement that the well-being and dignity of our seniors are of paramount importance. It is a testament to the values that define us as a nation, values of compassion, inclusivity, and a steadfast belief that no one, regardless of age or circumstance, should be left behind or forgotten. But this is just the beginning, my friends. The government's commitment to our seniors extends far beyond this single initiative. They understand that the journey towards truly ensuring the well-being and financial security of our elders is an ongoing one, requiring a multifaceted approach and a willingness to continuously adapt and improve. Rest assured, our leaders are leaving no stone unturned in their efforts to create a comprehensive support system that addresses the myriad challenges faced by seniors, from rising health care costs to housing affordability and beyond. This increase in OAS payments is merely the first step in a broader, long-term strategy to uplift and empower our elders, ensuring that they can live out their golden years with the dignity and security they so richly deserve. While this increase in OAS payments is undoubtedly a significant stride in the right direction, it is crucial that we approach this development with a balanced and critical eye. For while it promises to alleviate financial burdens for many seniors, there are still areas that require further attention and improvement. One such area of concern is the ever-rising cost of health care, particularly for those with chronic or complex medical conditions. Even with the additional financial support provided by the OAS increase, the burden of out-of-pocket expenses for prescription medications, medical equipment, and specialized treatments could still prove overwhelming for some seniors, potentially negating a portion of the intended benefit. Moreover, we must also consider the threat of inflation, which has the potential to erode the real value of these payments over time. As the cost of living continues to rise, it is imperative that the government remains vigilant and proactive in adjusting these benefits to ensure they keep pace with economic realities lest we find ourselves back at square one in the not-too-distant future. Furthermore, it is important to acknowledge that the challenges faced by seniors are not uniform across the board. Those residing in rural or remote areas, for instance, may face unique obstacles in act. While this increase in OAS payments is undoubtedly a monumental victory, one that should be celebrated and applauded, it is crucial that we maintain a balanced perspective. We must acknowledge that this is merely one step, albeit a significant one, in a broader journey towards comprehensively addressing the unique challenges faced by our elderly population. Even as we revel in this hard-won triumph, we must remain cognizant of the areas that still require further attention and action. The rising costs of health care, housing affordability, and the ever-present threat of inflation eroding the purchasing power of fixed incomes are just a few of the obstacles that continue to loom large for many seniors. However, it is important to recognize that progress is rarely achieved through a single monumental leap, but rather through a series of purposeful steps, each building upon the last. This increase in OAS payments represents one such step, a pivotal one that has the potential to positively impact the lives of countless seniors across the nation but by no means the final destination. It is a testament to the power of collective advocacy, of raising our voices and demanding better for those who have given so much to society. It is a reminder that when we come together, united in our pursuit 
of a more just and compassionate world, we can indeed effect meaningful change, one victory at a time. My friends, the time has come for us to embrace this triumph, but not to rest on our laurels. Instead, let us use this victory as fuel to propel us forward, to continue advocating for the well-being and financial security of our beloved seniors. Share this video far and wide, engage with the content, and most importantly, keep the conversation going. Together, we can ensure that this increase in OAS payments is merely the beginning, a catalyst for even greater strides towards a future where no senior is left behind, where their contributions are celebrated, and their golden years are truly golden. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and join us in this movement to uplift and support those who have given us so much. Let's make our collective voices heard, and together, we can continue to drive meaningful change for our elderly population, one step at a time. My dear friends, while the challenges faced by our seniors are undeniable, we must never lose sight of the resilience, strength, and unwavering spirit that has carried them through life's most trying times. This increase in OAS payments is a testament to their perseverance, a hard-won victory that should fill us all with a sense of hope and optimism for the future. For too long, our seniors have shouldered the burden of financial insecurity, forced to make impossible choices between essentials that should be readily available to all. But today, we stand at a pivotal moment, a turning point where we can collectively say, no more. This decision by the government is not merely a financial boost. It is a symbolic embrace, a recognition of the immeasurable value our seniors bring to our society. It is a promise that their voices have been heard, their struggles acknowledged, and their well-being prioritized. As we celebrate this milestone, let us also remember the countless stories of resilience, sacrifice, and determination that have paved the way for this moment. The seniors who weathered economic downturns, global conflicts, and societal upheavals, all while maintaining an unwavering commitment to their families and communities. The trailblazers who broke down barriers and fought for the rights and freedoms we now enjoy, often at great personal cost. It is these stories, these living legacies, that should inspire us to continue fighting for a future where our seniors can truly thrive, where their golden years are filled with joy, dignity, and the peace of mind that comes with financial security, a future where their immense contributions are not merely acknowledged but celebrated, where their wisdom and experience are valued as the precious resources they truly are. So, let us approach this victory with a sense of renewed vigor and determination. Let us use this moment as a catalyst for even greater change, a rallying cry for continued advocacy and action. For when we stand united, our voices amplified by the echoes of those who came before us, there is no limit to what we can achieve. The path ahead may not be easy, but it is a journey we must undertake with courage, compassion, and an unwavering belief in the inherent value of our elders. Together we can build a society that truly honors and cherishes those who have given us so much, a society where no senior is left behind, and their contributions are celebrated for generations to come. So let us embrace this moment, but let us also look towards the horizon, where greater triumphs and more inclusive solutions await. For in the end, our legacy will not be measured by the challenges we faced, but by the way we rallied together, united in our pursuit of a better tomorrow for all.